I trusted John, something about John. Man, I was into panic mode big time. And then I left you a comment that I had just done this sight on scene. And a few months ago, I got a comment on a video saying, Andrew, I hope you realize how much people trust you. I just bought an RV and wired a bunch of money without seeing the coach. And then now saw a video about being RV catfished. I found the gentleman that left that comment and actually wired a bunch of money to buy a coach sight on scene. Today we're gonna hear his story. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Jeff. How you doing today, sir? Fabulous, good to see you, Andrew. Everybody out there in YouTube land. Likewise, sir, likewise. So we're sitting in front of your Newmar Mountain Air here. How long have you had this coach for? Well, I bought it in December and I probably brought it home here right after the first of the year. How, how did you find this coach? Well, I was following your videos. I had been watching you for about a month and I had actually um, was buying a toy hauler, a Newmar toy hauler, a 21, and uh, I was a little concerned because it only hauled one bike. I knew someday I might like a diesel pusher, a tag axle, and then I saw the video you did uh, on this coach, and I looked at it and went, wow, that's beautiful, and showed it to the wife, and you were calling it a cream puff, and you guys really talked it up, and it really got my, it really floated my boat. Before you saw the coach, and then after you uh, had already sent the money, you saw another one of my videos. What was some of the advice that you that you saw in that other video? Oh, you couldn't advise enough to uh, get it inspected. Do your due diligence, and I didn't do any of that. I had been following you. I kind of trusted you, I guess. And then when I saw that video, I trusted John. Something about John just did it for me. But when I saw that that cat, fish bone, whatever video it was, man, I was into panic mode big time. And then I left you a comment that I had just done this sight on scene and kind of was telling you that I trust you, Andrew. I hope you're what you're all you say you are. And that's kind of how it all got rolling. Here we are three or four months, five, six, I can't even keep up four or five, six months five, later. We'll five, months. five months later, is the coach really a cream puff? And how, how did the whole deal end up working out for you? The deal worked perfect. Uh, everything on it is fabulous, works great. We've taken a couple trips. We took, me and the wife took a trip. We took the grandkids and, and the son and his wife out on a trip and um, it's been fabulous. Uh, dealing with John was probably the best thing I ever did. What about dealing with John? How, how did the whole transaction go? So you, so so let's, let's kind of rewind a little bit. So you're back at home, uh, 2,000 miles away, uh, wired the money here well, to arizona well i called him first and i you know i asked him about the coach and this and that and he he seemed to know his thing and um i grew up we had a few winnebago's growing up so i had very limited knowledge but you know guy we know it all so uh watched john and just thought i trust this guy i keep looking at my coach just to remind me of it all yeah and so i trusted john and I talked to him for a while, ended up wiring the money. I was going to send him a, a, a down pay, a deposit, and I ended up uh, two days later just wiring all the money, coming down, doing the deal. And he kept it for a couple, three weeks as I went home and through the holidays, and um, then came back and really got to know John and his wife. So was the coach really as we represented it? Absolutely. You mind if we take a look inside? Is it in good condition right now, or I didn't even ask you? I don't know. It's such a clean coach. I want to take inside because I do remember, you know, what, what good condition this was. Is. So this is the, the 4533 floor plan. Now they are getting packed up and ready to go, but um, it's, uh, it's still holding up in the same condition like, uh, like when you bought it. Uh, one thing happened. Yeah. And I've never went back to, to check the video to see if it was that way first. But this piece of molding did fall down. Uh-oh. It's, it's laying up here. I just haven't put it back up yet. But other than that, yeah probably half when I might hit a heavy bump. I got a lead foot, you gotta be careful. Though. Yes sir, yes sir. So the coach is beautiful, everything works, as it's, everything's been fabulous, it really has. And I, the way I feel about it, I would never do it this way again, but if I were going to, if I was dealing with John, I wouldn't worry. After getting to know him these last four months, I mean, what he does, he goes through the coach and he makes sure it's right because he's got his name tied to it. And that's important to me, when someone feels that way, that's how I am about things, so John's yeah. a man. You came, picked up the coach, and sounds like it's worked out pretty well overall? Everything has worked. His wife took me out for my trial run just because it's been years since I've driven something this big, 
and she was awesome and she took my wife out and actually taught her how to drive it because she's never driven and now my wife is looking forward to being able to drive on the way home and we may have to fight about that we both enjoyed it sounds like but uh everything about this deal was perfect any advice that you might have for someone that's thinking about buying an rv from a youtube video boy i guess make sure it's the right people follow the right people yeah yeah well would you say andrew Steele's the right people absolutely i love it absolutely. i love it jeff i can't thank you enough sir for taking the time to show me and the folks on to share your story with me and the folks on youtube greatly appreciate it um greatly appreciate all of you guys out there on youtube liking these videos and subscribing to the channel i hope you're all having a great day thanks again thanks everybody have a great day